Yo, what's up, YouTube? Dopest One is here, back with a new video. This time it. What's up, YouTube? Dopest One is here, back with a new video. This time, this video is gonna be on curved brim hats. Also, as you can tell from the title and from what's placed on my head. Um, so it's gonna be three segments. One. The difference between curved brim hats and regular hats. Two, how to wear uh, curved brim hats. And three, the reason why I like curved brim hats. Okay, YouTube, we got a regular brim hat right here. As you can tell from just the brim. It doesn't curve. Just a regular brim. This is what a regular brim hat looks like on. This is what a regular size. No. This is what a regular brim hat look like on. Like it's very plain to me. People, some people like it like that, but me personally, I like a little bit more excitement with my hats. And this right here is a, a huff hat that I got from uh, the skate shop in Washington, D.C. But as you can see, it just looks so dull, it looks so plain. This is... A curved brim hat. Look at the brim. See how it curves? It's basically a baseball cap. I saw the curved brim is. It's a baseball cap. You know these uh, silhouettes is also known from the polo. Like polo, like having polo hats and things like that. Just look at it. It gives you a little bit more umph. That curved brim factor. This is from Case KYC Vintage. I know uh, you just got to be careful when you spend it on KYC Vintage because. Um, they will send you some damage. Luckily, it hasn't happened to me, and they will mess up your order. So, and luckily, that didn't happen to me either. I got two products from KYC Ventures, both hats, and I'm happy with both of them. This is the uh, Paramount Mountain logo hat, by the way. And all black. But as you see, like, look how dope this hat is compared to this hat. It's two totally different things. Um, this hat right here that I had in the beginning, this is my favorite hat to, in, in my stable. And I got a million hats. But this is my favorite hat. Why? Because I curved the brim. I curved the brim. The silhouettes going around it makes it also dope. Like that old English, like, kind of like grunge to it. This right here is by Crooks and Castle. Here's another one by KYC Vintage. This is the race, the racing snapback. Why do they call it the racing snapback? 
look at the front. It's something that you'll see at a NASCAR event. But check that curved rim out though. Like I said, it just gives it that extra flair in your outfit that people can actually, you know, talk to you about. Unless you just got a dope ass hat on and it just stands out. But I really fell in love with curved rim hats. And I got one more curve. This last curved rim hat is by Crook of Hearts. And this is the Mexican flag hat. I just feel like, me personally, I just feel like you can go with a polo hat that stands the time of, I, me personally, I feel like you can go with a baseball cap or a polo and that looks way more better on the head and you get way more complicated. Me personally, I just feel like you can get way more compliments and way more me personally i just feel like with a baseball cap you get way more complicated compliments me personally i just feel like with baseball caps you get way more compliments with polo hats you get way more compliments than regular old you know like basketball hats like you get way more compliments with these because like i said the curved brim that's a uh something that's been going on for years like for centuries um like you could have a classic polo hat on right now like a classic one from the 90s from the you know from the 80s from the 70s and it's never going to go away. It's kind of like um, like a Jordan, if you want to say. Like, Jordans are never going to get played out. No matter how many times they retro a shoe, it's still going to be there. And I, I think that with curved brims, and I feel as though they're coming back in style, a lot of more brands are catching that wave of curved brim hats. That's good. It's a lot of uh, guys that's overpricing these curved brim hats and all they do is put a screen print logo on it and like selling it and I feel as though that's kind of like gonna be a deterioration of the game because you're not doing anything a lot of these brands is ripping these people off and that's unfair especially if you just going into uh, you just going somewhere, picking up a hat, picking up a collection of hats for five dollars. Five dollars, you get thirty hats, and all you do is screen print on a hat, and you overprice it. That's a rip off. You're not selling anything. You uh, but that's not either here nor there. I'm not trying to show, tell nobody what to do with their product because at the end of the day, if it works, it works. But curb brim hats, that's. And then these, like these, like me personally, I just feel like black and white go with anything. For right now, I got a lot of black and white. I got a lot of colorful stuff too, but I have other hats that could, you know, fit that time. Thank you for watching YouTube. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DopeIsJuan. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share this video.
and do something in the comments. Let's talk fashion. Peace. Like a horse, son. I'm a bust. Fuck with me, you gotta keep it on hush. Like a toy 